What's up guys, Tekshan here back with another video. A cinema theater in your house by just spending rupees <laughs> New Year should start with a rocking product and what I have here today, I'm sure you're gonna absolutely love. A smart Android projector. I know Shan, it's a pocket projector, right? Huh? Cinema theater with mm. something so small. Huh? What I'm talking here now is not a pocket projector or a mini projector, but a full projector with smart capabilities that will give you the home theater feel. So make sure to watch this video fully without skipping to know all about it. And if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit that like button. Alright, let's start. This is the box, retail pack, pretty big one. It's from a brand VB Bright, model is GP100. Sides has the features mentioned. 3200 lumens LED light, 30,000 plus hours of usage. Full HD ready and has a total projecting capacity of up to 180 inches. That's huge. So make sure to get a big wall ready at your home. Has screen share and other smart stuff built into it so you can install apps like Netflix, YouTube, etc. Stream content and do more from the projector itself standalone as this is powered by Android. Opening up the box, we have the projector itself in this bubble wrap. Nice! Then an accessory pack with a lot of stuff. You get an owner's manual for reference, a must read. AV cable to connect your older devices. A microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens and stuff. A basic remote with a few functions, flip, back, direction buttons. Volume, menu, play, pause, etc. Doesn't come with battery, you need two AAA batteries. A basic power cable, then a VGA cable. That's about the box. Now let's take a closer look at the projector. First glance, build is top notch. All plastic build, but super solid. Won't say heavy given its size, it's got a lot packed inside. It's quite big. How big? What can I compare this with? Mm. Pa, finally say it. We are waiting for this. Ah, as big as three bricks approximately. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another exclusive Texan comparison. Top, we have navigation buttons. In the middle, the enter button, menu, exit, back and power button, also an LED indicator. The same control buttons are also found on the remote. At the front you have an infrared sensor for the remote, logo and the lens cap. Removing that you can see the big fat lens. Maximum resolution is 1000 to 18 to 800 pixels. On the side we have the lens focus ring so that you can adjust the picture clarity as per your distance from the wall and a keystone correction ring so that you can adjust the angle of the projection. Moving on sides, some ventilation vents. To the back, we have tons of connectivity. We have a VGA port, so you can connect your PC or laptop and project it. Network LAN port for wired internet. It also has inbuilt Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Two HDMI ports to which you can connect your PlayStation, Xbox, laptop, computer, anything to project. Then two USB slots to which you can connect your hard drive or pen drive and watch movies or play files directly from it. Another infrared receiver for remote so you can use the remote from an angle when you clamp the projector say upside down on the ceiling etc. Audio AV port to connect home theater speakers etc. And also a dedicated port for headphones. Best part is this also has inbuilt speaker and it's pretty loud and good. We'll show you in a bit. Then the power socket and a power switch. On the other side some ventilation. At the bottom here is the speaker grill. You have four rubber stand for grip and four screw slots in case you want to mount it on the ceiling. A nice stand for elevation. And here you have a filter tray which you can pull out and clean frequently to keep it dust free. Oh boy, that's about the overview. Here is a quick look at the specification before we move on. Runs on Amlogic S95X SoC quad-core chip with Mali 450 GPU, has 1GB RAM with 8GB internal storage, which on first boot you get approximately 4.7GB free to use. Apart from wired internet, it also supports 2.4GHz Wi-Fi and has Bluetooth 4 support. Now let's set it up and see how well it performs. Place the projector against a white wall. Distance depends on how big you want to project. Here is a chart that can assist you with that. The projector can be placed anywhere between 4 feet and 18 feet away from the wall to get you that 38 to 180 inches projection. The aspect ratio is 16 is to 9 and 4 is to 3. Connect the power cable, turn on and adjust the focus ring until you get a clear picture and boom! 
All right, now I have projected to the wall. Now we are seeing approximately an 85 inch projection as this is the max space I have in this room. Now being dark and all, my camera is not going to do justice on the exact picture clarity or colors you're gonna get, but take my word, you will be amazed to see this in person. Remember, this is just to give you an idea. Turn on and you get the default menu, which you can use when you connect a pen drive to the projector. Go back and you have options to select your input source. It has ample ports, two HDMI, one VGA, AV, USB and Android. Under Android, it is like a normal smart TV box built into the projector. You can also use this projector without the Android part as a standalone thing for just projecting from a laptop or other device or even play content from your hard drive. Remote control is just basic. I would suggest get a Bluetooth remote with a keyboard or connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard for easy navigation. Let me show you the Android part quickly. This is the dashboard once you select the Android option. Make sure to connect it to internet via Wi-Fi or cable Ethernet. You get some basic apps, YouTube, Miracast, etc. preloaded. You also can load apps as it has a full Google Play Store. However, don't download too much as you might get stutters. Given that it has just 1 GB RAM and it's good only for streaming content, nothing else. It runs on a customized version of Android 6, nothing new, the usual options. I would expect at least Android 7 or 8, but it does not bother me much. Given its price specs, I have no intentions to use it for heavy tasks. Streaming apps just works fine, that's all I need. I will be using it more to play content from my hard drive. Here you can see me streaming content directly from YouTube. Now let me address a few things that many would want to know point-wise, just to be clear. First, what is the resolution of the projector and its life? Well, it's 1000 to 18 to 800 pixels with 16 is to 9 or 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. It's bright enough and commits a minimum of 30,000 hours. Second, can it play 4K or 1080p video files from hard drive? How is the quality? Well, yes, it works flawless as you can see I'm playing a file from my hard drive, both 1080p and 4K. Supports most of the common formats. Max support of playback is 4K at 30 FPS. On the quality, as said, frankly, my camera is not going to do justice here. You gotta see this thing in person. It's pretty cool. Third, how is streaming via YouTube? What is the max quality I can stream? Well, streaming is pretty good and on the quality, you can go up to 1080p. Fourth, does the projection truly go up to 180 inches? Well, here it is for you guys. Made some space in my other room to project and test and oh boy, I never wanted to shut this off. <laughs> it's pretty mesmerizing. Fifth, can I use it without internet? Well, internet is just an add-on on this. You can just use this standalone. If you don't want the Android part of it, I will leave a link to another model which is the same but costless without Android. Sixth, can I use it with mobile internet? Well, yes, you can, but depends on how fast your connection is. Here in my area, Geo is good and here is the projector connected to my Geo network and you can see I have no issues in streaming content on YouTube. So yeah, you can, only if you have good speeds. Seventh, does it have inbuilt speakers? Can I connect external speaker? Yes, it does have inbuilt speakers as I said and here is a sample. It's loud and surprisingly clear. You may also connect external speakers via Bluetooth or via the AV port. Here you can see I have connected my FND T60X Flow standing speakers via Bluetooth and it works pretty good. Eighth, can I game on this? Well, I just love this part the best. If you have a good laptop or PC or gaming console like PlayStation, Xbox, etc., you can connect that to the projector like how I have here and enjoy, oh boy, an immersive gaming experience. Seriously, it's mind-blowing. But if you want to play some games on this standalone by installing apps from the App Store, given that it has just 1GB RAM, I won't suggest that. But by connecting a PlayStation, Xbox, gaming laptop, etc., get ready for some action. Ninth. Can I connect Bluetooth devices to this like a headset, keyboard, etc? Yes, this has Bluetooth support, so you can. Tenth, can I mirror my phone? Yes, it supports Miracast, so you can. Here you can see me doing that with my Redmi Note 6 Pro. Eleventh, does the box heat up? Well, in normal usage, it does warm up, but no major heating. Warmness is common in projectors. The only annoying thing in this is the fan sound. It's quite loud. 
And finally, the most asked question, what streaming apps works on this in Android mode? I tested YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Geo TV, Hotstar and it works perfect. Since you can mirror your phone, you may stream from that to this as well. I have gone ahead and answered most of the common questions you guys will have. Got more questions? Drop them in the comments, I'll try to answer it. So there you go, this is a budget smart projector. I am super happy with this. You get the non-Android variant for around 10,000 rupees and this is around 11,500 with the Android part. You may choose any depending on your needs. If you ask me, is there something that I don't like about this projector? Well, latest version of Android with 2GB RAM would have been great and the fan noise. Those are the only two things that bother me. Apart from that, this projector has premium build, support for 4K video files playback, connectivity for all devices through HDMI, loud and clear speakers. It's pretty awesome and totally worth it if you want a cheap TV alternative or want to set up a mini home theater experience without spending much. I will leave the Best Buy link in the description. Price may go plus or minus, not in my control, don't message me blah blah. Also, there is no custom charges, so make sure to choose India Direct Mail Shipping. And you should be good to go. Alright, hope this video was informative. If it did, do respect my efforts by clicking on the thumbs up button. And if you're new to TechShan, make sure to subscribe as I make awesome tech content, not just smartphone videos. Yeah, I mean that. This is not just a smartphone channel. So don't miss my awesome content. We'll catch you in another exciting video. Until then.